Hello everyone, welcome back to Crusader Kings 2 Game of Thrones as the Beesburys. We're playing as Lord Rui of Honeyhold and Old Town. And uh, we've made Old Town our capital, I think. Yes, it's already our capital. And I actually wanted to I wanted to start um today's episode um saying that I feel a little bit of a little bit sick. I feel like uh, our our heir, son Walter Beesbury. However, I've just found out that he is no longer uh, infected with grayscale, he has actually survived the grayscale, um, and he's now only disfigured, which is very good. Obviously, still that uh, hurts his attraction opinion, general opinion, and diplomacy, but he lives, and that is the most important thing. Now, he is a craven, however, which is still a very big problem, but he's married to lovely princess, well, not yet married, but betrothed to lovely princess Riel um, Valerion. She has a claim on the Riverlands, on King's Landing, and the Iron Throne. She's attractive. And overall, just a very cool um, lady. So yeah, um, let's actually get yeah, let's actually get started. Um, we are still trying to uh, bring down the high towers, but we're not pursuing this, you know, with a lot of passion. Um, we hate them, but we've taken their ancestral keep. So for now, we are probably content with what we have achieved. If they, um, you know, annoy us again, we'll obviously have to take the High Lordship. Now we're already fabricating, we have our Justice Sir Tommen. I don't even know if I made him an important character, I don't think I, I did, yeah I didn't. Um, Alright, so Tommen of Oakmere, uh, Jarrett, Marjorie, just some random Marjorie. Now don't, all of these people are not even important characters. Maester Jarrett, the Septon is as well. Let's check out the minor titles. Alright, I think everyone over here is important. Um, nope, Master Garth. Uh, Rhaegal, my friend, yeah, he is. Okay. So making some de decent money, almost 10 ducats a month. That's pretty darn good. I like it. Yeah, so currently nothing has been looted, which is amazing. I like it. Uh, Old Town is only paying 10%. Whoa. Okay. And we could actually change our succession laws to Agnatic Cognatic Primogenitor. Under my guidance, my young ward, Rel, is slowly mastering the art of swordsmanship. Wow! She's a skilled fighter already. Okay. So perhaps we wanna, um... Now, before Chester, he's ill now. He's done a great job of educating Walter. Well, at least, well, somewhat. Um, I think we wanna take him on now. Educate him ourselves. Um, people will be pissed, but that's fine. Perhaps... Wait, I can't do it? Why can I not do it? Why can I not educate my own son? Oh, because I have... Real. Um, Layla, can you be... Alright, Layla, I'm gonna give you to someone else. Um, Darian Tolly? No. Um, a spy master. Alright, spy, the spy master is gonna take care of you and then I can take care of my son, Walter. There we go. Um, nope, me. So now I might be able to uh, make him a formidable fight, although I don't think that's that's likely. Um, but yeah, so we're saving up cash, we're gonna build up Old Town, and we're gonna make this our capital. Well, it's already our capital, but we're gonna truly make it our capital, and we have to we have to make it feel comfortable, feel, feel make it feel like home. Um, so yeah, we're gonna have to build some more buildings here. But I guess we can do that later. Um, Lord Alekin of Hammerhall is asking us to join this tournament, and I think we should. Now, one thing I should probably note is we're 35 years old. Um, we've been hunting, I think we've, well, we had, we had a war focus for quite a while, and now for five years, almost, we had the hunting focus. We don't really enjoy it that much. I think what we want to do now is kind of focus on rulership, um, it's just, we've always liked fighting, and we're still bringing commander. A duelist, formidable fight, and all that. But I think we're just gonna uh, gonna change gears here. We are ruling over a much bigger castle now. We can't actually change it just yet. We're gonna have to wait two more years. Okay. Well, once we're able to change our focus, I think we should change it simply because we are now ruling over a much bigger city than Honeyhold was. So it makes sense that we kind of focus on that. And also, we're gonna have to show um, our young son how to rule properly. Um, hopefully, he's gonna learn something. Okay, and we are tilting against Sir Eric Strickland. Ooh, a skilled fighter. Let's see how we fare. And obviously, we're being hit. 
And okay, we have not been knocked off. Everyone's enjoying the fine display of jousting with Sir Regal and Sir Mark. Um, oh my god. In the last tilt, Sir Regal did not fare well as Sir Mark's lance found a gap in the armor, crucifying impaling him. No way, did he die? Yes! Wow! Okay. That is, uh, Rhaegar Valyrian has just died. Wow, we're slain by Mark. Sir Mark. Can I invite him to my court? No, he killed a dragon rider of the royal house. Well, his wife, and uh, no, his daughter, is she still? She's in Old Town, yeah, she's at our court. Mel Melara the Old Beehive. Wow, look at that, look at her house. It's almost like a beast, it sounds like a beastberry branch, a very old one. Okay, cool. Well, um, we have been struck again, but we're gonna have to uh, learn for our, I think, commander, was it not? It was a commander, captain of the household guard, and bodyguard. Wow, he just died. Okay. Well, I guess we're gonna have to find someone new. Um, I think we wanna appoint... Who's the best one? Both of these guys are 24. This is a woman. This guy is 45. But, and he's huge. Yet, he's only a trained fighter. This guy's a formidable fighter. This guy is strong and a skilled fighter, but he's ill. So we're gonna pick Rickard Walken, and I think Rickard is also married to my sister, Falia. So yeah, I guess it makes a lot of sense to have him as our captain. Now we need a new bodyguard as well. Let's see who we can pick. Uh, I think I'm probably gonna go for Ontario Lefford. Yeah. Yeah, let's do that. Is this actually? Yeah, that's my wife. Alright, let's go for Ontario Lefford. And we need a new commander as well. Who could we pick? A girl. Um, she's the dragon rider, but you think we're gonna pick, um, she's a dragon rider, that's true. But she's not an actual commander, so I think I'd rather pick Buford Chester. Um, he's ill at the moment, but that, I think he's gonna recover. He wants to become regent. Yeah, pick him as commander. Alright, let's actually resume, um, our tournament. Let's see how we do. We've been, no nope, we have not yet been knocked off, so that's actually good. And we hit our enemy. Nice. But he has not been knocked off either. Um, oh, so I think this is the third strike and probably out. Yes. Three strikes and we are out. Alright. So Sir Sir Eric Strickland has been declared the winner, defeating you. Now, do we blame our squire, which is our son? Now, we are a craven, so is our son. Um, I don't really see... No, we're humble. Uh, I think we're not going to blame our squire. Yeah. I'm just so happy that he lives. And Sir Jaden Orm, okay, Gerald Holyhall has died. And not as a skilled fighter. He was killed by Jaden. Can we get him to our court? No. Yeah, he died. Gee. Oh well. And the tournament continues. Well, already two dead people. That's just, that's just terrible. Who has won? Uh, Sir Egan and host Sir Oliver Connington. Sir Oliver Connington is the winner of the tournament. Okay. Can we invite you to court? Yes, we can. He won a tournament. So, um, I think, yeah. Let's invite the guy who won the tournament. He'll probably do quite well at our court. That was regional too. It was not just a small one. I think regional is a bigger one than small, is it not? We have regional and we have small. Yeah. Okay, and he has arrived at our court, Sir Oliver Connington. Cool. I don't actually have a position for him just now, but soon enough, we'll find something suitable. And another tournament, uh, House Bulva of Black Crown. And of course, we will attend because, well, <laughs> we lost someone in our last uh, tournament, but still, we should attend. And, uh... Okay, my lovely daughter, Lamore, is married to a Lord Adam Sari of the Shield Isles. And, uh, ah, Walter is most uncooperative and is not responding very well to our maester's tuition. Alright, well, intrigue is not the most important. He does have quite a lot of learning, so I'm actually surprised that he's not doing that well. Um, and it seems as though Lila has come of age as well. And she could actually be married to Lord Paramount Adwell of the North, and that would be something. Or... The Lord of Grayshield. Now, another Sari. We could do that. Or, oh, this is Northman. 
Uh, Mary rather the uh, Rose Road, nine years old. That'd be useful. And I think, I honestly think now that we are the O card. What what is he? What is he Lord of? This guy is Lord of nothing in particular. Actually, he is Smith Smithian. What? It says we're allied to. Hmm. To the High Lord, it says. Direct vassals, Ocean Road. Where is Ocean Road? Hmm. These two, but who is the High Lord? What is he? What is his castle? Oaken Shield. Oh, over here. I see. Okay. His heir is probably married already. Horus Okard, seven year old boy. We could marry him, but. He's not yet a lord. Um. Okay. But we definitely want to get an alliance uh, somehow. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to go for um, the Rose Road. This guy's only nine years old, but the Rose Road is very powerful um, if we look at this. And I think we're now, even though we're not a high lord yet, we are a... We are the lord of Old Town, so we are somewhat more important than we have been before. Um, so yeah, well, let's actually propose this marriage. There you go. Yeah, I think I think we're actually a family is now way more prestigious than it was in the beginning. We have one, two, three, four, five castles that our family controls, and we once had a Lord Commander um, of the Night's Watch. So our family is more important than when we started off. Okay, and Tony Herald of the Mount's competitors. Um, I'm I've been drawn against Sir Olimar. He's only a trained fighter, so we should actually win this time, and we hit him, which is quite good. And now another death, okay. Sir Yuson Baramin. No, actually, Harbor, this is the guy who died. He was slain. Oh, look at this, he was a duelist. And a skilled fighter, but he died too. Okay. And Sir Alma has not yet been knocked off his horse, but we hit him again, so he's probably... Yeah, he did, okay. So he he's luckily unharmed, though. And we won our first round, and now we're gonna have to joust against Sir Melee's Barman. Wow, didn't this guy just kill it? He just killed the guy, but he's wounded now. He's strong and skilled fighter, so let's see how we can do. Oh my god, but he hit us first. And he actually even knocked us off a horse. And now we have just uh, gotten the message that the betrothal has been accepted, so very good. And yeah, so we're lying in dirt. We have been defeated by a wounded guy. That's pretty, sh pretty, uh. Shameful, but oh well. How's the war going? Iron Throne, you're fighting. Who are you fighting again? Yoramun of the Wildlings. Edward Ashford and Sir Brian. Edward has won. Edward Ashford. Tendulski. Can we uh, invite him to court? He's actually. Oh! This guy's married to one of my. to a huge Beesbury. She's infirm, but he would come to my court. And you know what? I'm gonna invite him. Um, simply because I like to have my people around. He's a claim on Ashford. So, uh, yeah, and he won. Okay, so yeah, we've... The second tourney winner that he, uh, we have um, asked to join our court. And he's bringing Beesbury with him, so that's very nice. He's actually Petrola. Petrola was... Um, Lord Ares... Okay, so that was the other, that was this branch of the Beesbury's. This one was married to Ashford's. Okay, he's now accepted that invitation. He's gay, but we don't really care that much, I think. Do we? We're not zealous. And other than that, I, I think we're fairly liberal in this. But anyways, um, of course we have not won again, unfortunately. And Delena has also arrived. Oh no, that, yeah, that's the woman we've... I've just been talking about. Uh, sorry, guys. I'm a little bit all over the place. I'm um, not feeling too well, as I have said before. Um, Lady Darian has dragged her unfaithful spouse, Sir Ontario Lefford. Okay. Well, here's the thing. She is the one that we actually wanted. I only took him because this way she would come to my court as well. She's actually the one I wanted to have because she is the huge skilled fighter and my bodyguard. So that's why he will be locked in the stock. Although he is also my sworn shield, but 
Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna go with her this time. You don't be unfaithful, Sir Ontario. That's not why I made you my bodyguard. Probably bad to piss off your bodyguards like this, but that's fine. Yeah, I insulted him. But she should be happy. Grateful. So we can still face the dragon and we can still we still have the chance to become chief general, which I just don't want. I just don't want to do that. Let's see if we can change any laws. Uh, city taxation is still on large. Not really getting that much out of it, however. It's really a shame. How many men do we have? We can get up to 4,100. Yeah, we still don't have our full levies. That's really bad. And we have been invited by the Fossilways, Lord Branston of Cider Hall, and of course, we will attend his tournament as well. Um, it's not yet time to change our focus from hunting, so I think for now, we're just gonna do whatever, yeah, participate in whatever tournament we can, basically. Walter, how you turn up? Still a craven, still only trained fighter. Come on, your wife is better than you at fighting. That's embarrassing. She's better than you in everything, basically, except she's only an incompetent steward. Um, actually, her martial skill is much better than her uh, stewardship. But anyway, we are gonna fight against Sir Foley Hill, a Westerman. Okay, I think. Well, I was thinking we should be able to win, but nope. So far, we have been hit once, and now we hit, we hit him. So perhaps he's gonna fall off. Yes, he fell off his horse. Okay, so first one we've actually won. So let's see how we do now. So Aris Kidwell, I've heard that name before. We hit him. Yes, come on, send him flying. Yes, second, uh, second one we have beat. Nice, we only got five prestige. And now it's Sir Jadem Orm. I think we have also seen him before. Fifty years old guy. And oh, what, what's this? Everyone is enjoying the fine display of jousting when Sir Melas Beesbury and Sir Bayard Oakheart were paired up. In the last tilt, Sir Melas did not fare well as Sir Bayard's lance found a gap in the armor, cruisingly, cruisingly impaling him. Oh no, a Beesbury has died. Okay, wh who was he? He was the brother of Lord Corliss Beesbury of the Uplands. And Delena is now incapable. She's my courier. Okay. We still have Corliss, who is leading troops in the Uplands. Don't exactly know why, 2,000 men, but he's leading troops, and he's an adulterer. Ah, uh, his heir Mark Beesbury doesn't really look too good. Look at this guy, arbitrary, cruel, envious, and trusting. That's gonna be the new Lord of the Uplands, anyway. But yeah, so he just lost his brother, and obviously that's a big loss for House Beesbury. He was a humble man, um, but yeah, we don't really care that much. Well, we do care since he's of our family, but oh well. There are more important family members, I'll say it like this. Yeah, so this is a tough battle against this guy, but we've hit him, the 50-year-old Jadem Orm, and we've actually unhorsed him. This is the third one that we have beaten in a row. I'm very happy. Okay, and my ward Walter is inquisitive and asks so many questions that it's hard to answer them all. I try my best, and for every answer I give, Walter seems to like me even more. Now we become close friends. Isn't that nice? I'm friends with one of my daughters and one of my, well, and my son and heir. So Bayard Okart and Sir Euston Barman, just Yuson, and Bayard, okay, so that's the guy who killed my family member and he's wounded for it. He's a quick lad and a skilled fighter. I wonder if he wants to join my court. Nah. I guess he would not feel safe. Okay, um, and I'm gonna... I'm drawn against Sir Barry's O card. Then on cue the horses. Okay. Well, I've hit him first, okay, so that's kind of payback for my for my family. And with him again. He has not yet been unhorsed. Come on, yes! Did we win? I think we did. You have been declared the winner. Yes. Victory is mine. I have defeated all have stood before me. No one capable of unhorsing me in my fine mount. I have claimed the winner's purse and the adulation of gallery. So we could either give some of this, share it with our squire, and I think we're actually gonna do that because, well, he's humble, but so are we. 
So we'll, we wouldn't keep all of this to ourselves. Also, we are gregarious and we like our son. He's one of our friends if we look at our relations. Um, we like our son. So I think it just makes sense to uh, give him some credit as well. So there you go, Walter. You've done a great job. Uh, thanks a lot. There's 15 bucks for you. You can uh, buy something nice, whatever you want. Um, and uh, apparently we have lost a commander. Oh, that was one of the ma masters of the, of the city. Okay, so we need a new commander. I think now we're probably going to pick... Um, yeah, Edward Ashford. Yeah, he was one of the tournament winners. He's a brave man. Uh, he's homosexual, but we don't care that much. This guy has gonorrhea, so we kind of care a little bit more than that. But yeah, so Edward Ashford, there you go. We're not picking women. We're just a little bit biased, I think. Tony has ended, and we can actually marry. Arrange the marriage. Yes. She would actually lose prestige for marrying House Beesbury. Interesting. Nobody is paying for it. Because her husband... No, her, her father died. In battle. Vaymond Valerian died in battle against Vaymond Valerian. He, he killed himself, basically. On the fields of battle. Anyway, so our son is now actually married to uh, Princess Real Valerian. Cool. And he has survived Grayscale. A new Lord Command on the wall. Ryan Lady Bright. Okay. Good for him, I guess. We don't really care about the watch that much. Lord Luther of Ulton has declared L Luther's blood feud. The second time now. Okay. Okay. And we have two of our kinsmen in the loyalist faction. Maybe we want Lord Leo. He's a content lad, but so is Luther. They're both content, so I'm actually kind of pissed off that this guy keeps attacking people. He still has a claim on Old Town. Hmm. Can I just declare war? The Pose Liege. Um. Abdicates to Leo. Okay. Although it says this woman is, or this lady, Cerise, is his heir. Hmm. We shall see. Um, but we gotta do something about our, our provinces. They're being attacked. So you, I think what we're gonna do, we will actually raise all our men and just defend Honeyhold because I, I'm, I just hate it that we constantly get attacked. So we're actually gonna raise our own men. And the war has actually ended. Okay, fine. Stand down the troops then. And the Lena Beesbury has now actually died comatose in bed. But that's... Well, that was to be expected. She wasn't capable already. Huge lady. And yeah, we have actually saved up quite some cash. So let's actually build something. Um, we still have the stone curry. That's actually for quite a while. And we have the trade route. Also for quite some some time now. I think we're gonna build the castle town. Will we build the castle town? Uh... Hmm. What do we lack? We do lack strength of forts. That's true. Maybe training grounds will be important. We need levy reinforcement. Um, so I think we're gonna build that. We have also been invited by Lord Manton. Okay. We'll obviously attend another tournament. So yeah, let's build the training ground here. More morale for our armies and levy reinforcement, which is something we need because we're constantly gonna fight the Ironborn here. We've gained some piety as well. Now, somehow though, we're not really having any babies anymore. It's been 14 years without getting our wife pregnant, even though she likes us. I don't know why she's so pissed, but we fight off a council, but other than that, hmm, don't know. How about... Okay, House Torn is ruling the Vale. We're now fighting... Oh no, we're actually just starting. We're readying our horse. We're fighting Sir Robert. Seen him before. He's a stressed man. Hit him. Yeah. Sir John Oldflowers. Oh no. My cousin, heir of Somerset. No. Okay, no, actually he didn't die. Okay. 
So, yeah, he actually did, yeah, he was slain by, by our cousin, but that's not as bad because uh, losing a cousin would be more frustrating, actually. He will soon be the Lord of Somerset, and then we're going to have an, an ally. Although, I think we're already allied, are we not? Um, we're actually not allies. This is my aunt, however, and she's a spy master. I wonder if we could actually kill him. I'm just curious. Just want to see if this is possible. No intentions of actually killing him. Um, she doesn't even show on the list. Alright, fine, whatever. Stop it. <laughs> and the attorney announces competitors the next judge. You have been drawn against Sir Mellow's Beast, but didn't he die? Oh, it was two Mellows. Oh, he's the firstborn son of the other Mellows Beastbury. So we're actually fighting against one of our kinsmen. I like that. He's commander of the uplands. A brave man. Uh, trained fighter. Okay. So let's see if we uh, how we fare against this lad. And he actually hit us first. Uh, but we have not been on horse. And we hit him now. Nice. And we've actually sent him flying. Well, of course. We are the, uh, the leader. The head of the Beesbury family. So, of course, we must show our strength as well. But it was a very nice joust. A joust. So, uh, you did good, Sumelus. I would knight you if I... Actually, you are already a knight. Never mind. The Hunting Herald announced Imri Chester. Can I invite you to court? Yes, I could. But I don't think you're that useful. Let's see how you do, Sir Imri. We once had a Sir Imri Durwell who did very well in our court. And um, you have not yet been knocked off. Quite an ambitious lad. Bastard, however. Wow, so he's actually he's actually fighting quite well. He's not been a, I have not been able to un unhorse him. Now he's hit us. As you and Sir Imri meet, you both score a good hit. Both lands are shattering as you both ride on ride on still mounted. You are hit with a sudden bout of pain, however, as you realize you are now bleeding profusely. You take up a new lance from your squire anyway, and charge gamely on. Okay, so we're actually we're gonna get straight wounded here. Interesting. The opponent got the better of us. Hopefully, don't die. Okay, uh, the blow from Sir Imri Chester's lance sends you reeling, and you struggle to stay on your horse. The crowd gasps, expecting you to fall. However, you maintain your grip, bring your mount around the other side of the list, ready for another charge. Okay, come on, let's strike. Yes, we hit him. Wow, this is a very interesting fight. Okay, and Sir Imri has actually been on horse, but this was a very good fight. He actually made us work for this. He even wounded us, so yeah. We're gonna try and invite him to our court because he did very well. Um, but we obviously eventually prevailed because we are just the best. Lord Roy, awesome guy. Okay, and now we're gonna... Have to fight against our own body, uh, yeah, our own bodyguard and commander before Chester. However, he's also uh, wounded. Um, he's a strong guy, skilled fighter, brave. He's scarred, diligent. Oh, this is gonna be such a nice battle. All right, or well, battle, jousting, whatever. And we've actually unhorsed him in one round. Okay, that was rather easy. <laughs> and we've been victorious again. And. I, I think, again, here, the same thing goes, um, our, our squire did quite well, uh, our son. He did very well, we like that, so we're gonna share our plunder with him. Very cool. We still make a lot of money from it. And Sir Imri has actually accepted. Very lovely. His wife has died, and you want to marry again. I guess we're gonna, I guess we're gonna arrange that. You could marry Eldassi Lafford, or Gwyneth Blackmond. Yeah, marry a young. Well, actually, yeah, she's more your age, so there you go. And tournament ends, and we have won. So we've actually won two tournaments now. Has a what for Leo's claim on Brightwater Keep. So his brother's claim, he's pressing his brother's claim on Brightwater Keep. Okay. This time, these guys are actually going to the Lordship of Bandalen, which is now ruled by my nephew Garland, Garland Ambrose. Folly is now at my court, but he's a drunkard. Okay. She has so many kids. Hopper is the new heir. I see. So we have our nephew here. We have our um, cousin here. Then we have kinsmen here. We hold these two. And this is our brother over here. Does he actually have a... He still doesn't have a son. His wife 
is incapable. Now here's the thing, he does not have a wife, and he does not have an heir yet. But he, his wife might die and he's gonna pick a young girl and then he's probably gonna have a son. So we're not gonna inherit Norcross, unfortunately. But yeah, I think we want to end this episode here, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you next time. It's Yutranka, signing off.